In a world of equations and experiments, one woman refused to stay silent. Her name, Shen Shung Wu, the first lady of physics, born in China in 1912, where girls weren't always encouraged to study, but her father built a school for girls, and Wu thrived in it. She read science books like others read fairy tales. By 24, she had a physics degree and a dream to go further. So she sailed alone to America, chasing knowledge across oceans. At Berkeley, she stood out, not just for being brilliant, but unbreakable. When World War II began, she joined the Manhattan Project, helping split the atom. But her biggest moment came in 1956. Physicists Li and Yang had a theory. Nature might break its own symmetry. Everyone said it couldn't be tested. Wu said, watch me. She designed a genius experiment, cooling cobalt atoms to near absolute zero. And then, boom, nature did break symmetry. Parity wasn't conserved. It shook physics to its core. Li and Yang won the Nobel Prize but Wu was left out. Still, she never stopped. She became the first woman president of the American Physical Society. She taught, inspired, and proved again and again. Brilliance knows no gender. People called her the Chinese Madame Curie, but she was so much more. A voice for women, a force in physics, a name that should never be forgotten. Chen Xiong Wu didn't just study the universe. She rewrote the rules and proved that even atoms bow to determination.